Hello everyone, welcome to ashatech.com, your engineering sciences channel. In this lecture, we are going to look at an example on bearing calculations, and this is my WhatsApp number. Let's look at the guiding question. It says that a taper roller bearing has a dynamic load capacity of 26 kN. The desired life for 90% of the bearings is 8,000 hours and the speed is 300 RPM or revolutions per minute. Therefore, calculate the equivalent radial load that the bearing can carry. So in this uh, question, this is the data that we are given. We are provided with the life LH in hours and this is 8,000 hours. Then we are provided with the speed at which the bearing is going to be moving and it is 300 revolutions per minute. Then we are also told that the dynamic load capacity or the carrying capacity C is going to be 26 kilonewton. The dynamic load capacity C is going to be 26 uh, kilonewtons which will be 26,000 Newton. Now we need to look at the, the expected life, expected life of the bearing, and that is L. So L is defined as 60 times N times LH divided by 10 power 6. LH is the number of uh, hours the bearing is going to spend or is going to run before the first evidence of fatigue or failure and is given as 8,000 hours then n is the speed in revolutions per minute and 60 is the conversion factor so what do we do l is going to be 60 times n which is 300 times l h which is 8,000 then we divide it by 10 power 6 and this is going to be 1 44 and um, this is going to be L equal to 144 million revolution. Now we need to define uh, the equivalent radial load. So since it is uh, of course carrying only one load that uh, they, they are talking about a radio. It is radio and therefore uh, we are going to use this formula. We know that the C is equal to P times L power 1 out of K and the K is equal to 3 for ball bearings and we are told that this is a roller bearing and we know that K is equal to 10 out of 3 for roller bearing. Okay, so P is the equivalent radial load, L is the rating, the life rating in terms of uh, million revolutions then C is the dynamic load of the bearing. So since it is a aurora bearing, then P is going to be a C divided by L power 1 out of K. So this is uh, going to be 26,000, then divided by 144 power 1 out of, uh, of uh, 10 out of 3, and the, this P is going to be of course this is 26 divided by 144 power 3 out of 10 and this is equal to 584.16 so the dynamic i mean the radio equivalent load the radio or the equivalent radio load of the bearing uh, is going to be p equal to 58 54.16